Long throw by Obeng into the box and it bobbles around dangerously. It's cleared, hits Keats Taylor, drives the shot to survive from 10 yards out, hits it into a crowd, but he just pulled it with his left foot as well. At least Steve Rexham on the front foot early on. Yeah, it was a good opportunity for Gareth Taylor. The ball dropped to him in the penalty area. He hit it well enough, but he was just off target. Fin Sinclair heads it back down the left flank. Mangan controls it 30 yards out. He's forced backwards into the centre circle, plays it across the right to Obeng. Slightly dangerous pass that, but it got to him. Obeng stands it up. Taylor attacks it around the penalty bar. Goes to Morel, who miscontrols six yards out. That was a real chance. I don't think he expected it to come through to him. Keats swings into the near post, headed away well by Roper. He'll come back in again. Harris, 30 yards out, takes it on the chest, goes driving his edge there, drives a shot just wide of the left post. It was a decent contact by Harris, but Gary, I think, had it covered. Ball's fed into the edge of the catcher, Gary Morrell turns neatly, finds Ashton left-hand side, only Taylor's in the box though, Ashton works it backwards, Keats has a chance to cross now, rolls it back to Ashton again, the return ball's on, Ashton on his right foot though, drills to the far post, it's attacked by Obeng, heads it over from six yards out, he was always just underneath it and struggling to control his header. Marner has beaten him to it, so now he's by the goal line, left-hand side, blocked in by Obeng. He rolls it back, Davis, first time cross to the far post, good idea, header across the face and just wide. And that's the closest we come to a goal, was catching, swept as end. Where was the marking again, Mark? Mm. He got completely away on the far post, out jumped Neil Ashton, and we got two towering centre-backs absolutely nowhere near him. It was a good cross in, but they've isolated again a player on, on Neil Ashton at the back, very, very similar to the way Russian and Diamonds did it last week. He's won it back though and feeds it over the top of the fence. That's a clever idea. Ashton on the chase will get there first. Feeds an early ball and it hits Roper. Excellent shout of a handball in the box. Ashton's furious. If catching do switch the system, they're going to be narrow in midfield. It looked very narrow then. As Oben got down the flank, now he throws it into the near post, headed away by Davis. Blackburn brings it down well edge of the area, feeds it to the far post, and oh, it's just wide. Keats lunged at it six yards out and diving header, but it's just wide. Yeah, I think Keats did well to get his head onto that actually, because again it came over a defender's head and he had no right to expect the ball to actually reach him. So when he did, he, he, he adjusted himself very well and flung himself to head the ball goal with. Gary knocks it to the edge of the area, another powerful header by Crichton. Morell chases this now at the halfway and heads it on. Taylor's, uh, Mangan standing well offside, maybe a good job it didn't get carried through. Now Harris is hassling and forcing a back pass from Lubissi. And Gary's under pressure from Mangan and dribbles, and Mangan tackles him! And can he score? Yes, he can! Gary, what a mess! And Mangan is gifted the most ludicrous goal! I mean, fair play to him for chasing, but flame it out. Well, all I can say is thank, thank you very much, Willie Gary because until then we hadn't looked like we were going to score in a million years. An absolute Horlicks by the goalkeeper, and Andy Mangan so sharp, he, tried, he went round him, Gary tried to bring him down, Mangan kept his feet and slotted the ball, and the crowd's gone absolutely wild here, because Wrexham desperately need to win this game. They've now got their noses in front, and they've just got to try and close the game out, Mark. Keats will take an away swinger, Blackburn is at the near post, that's in a a new spot for him, is there something new after training on, he's, he's way outside the near post, now he's spinning away and it's swept in behind him and Taylor's just beaten to it, Mangan, edge of the area, drives a shot, it's blocked six yards out, spins back out again, Mangan slams it back in, Crichton miscontrols it six yards out and puts it miles wide, and Mangan's shot just dropped for Crichton and he's, he's running back to the halfway line with his arms spread as if to say, oh I'm a centre back, that's what I do, I put it off the pitch. Keats dinks it in, Taylor heads it towards goal, headed away from goal, from under the bar by Sulkin, Crichton heads it in, great save by Gary, I tell you what, that was a good header by Crichton that. Yeah, I, I, I've often wondered why Wrexham centre-backs don't score more goals from set pieces, Mark Crichton very close there, it was a good save by Willie Gary but a nice powerful header by Mark Crichton. Right, nobody now in the six yard box, but from Morrell beyond the far post, so a different setup for this away swinger from Keats. Sweeps it in towards Blackburn, who is beaten to his easy by Salkin. Ashton brings it down the edge of the area, drives a shot across the face of goal and wide. Decent hit, always going over though. Going to drop again for Kettering, chance to feed this in. No, Harris tackles excellently and plays a fine ball towards Mangan, who skips past Roper. Mangan breaking down the left hand side, Taylor can't keep up with him. Mangan will have to go it alone, into the box, drives it just over. Is he going to deliver it long? Certainly they're not send Crichton forward for this one, Mark. No, Sinclair Blackburn. staying back as well, and Blackburn, as you're right, yeah. Kettering now, realising Blackburn's not going up, will send a third man forwards. Obeng throws it in the post, Morel is the target, he flicks it on nicely. Taylor, six yards out, lays it back, Keats slams it in! Wrexham surely have got the three points now! Dean Keats laid off nicely turned by Taylor 
and he slammed this in with the aid of a slight deflection and Wrexham take a two goal lead. Well here's a thought for you Mark, the fact that he didn't send the big men forward created more space in the penalty area because when Obeng's throw came in, Gareth Taylor was able to lay it back, Dean Keats on the penalty spot, had, had all the time in the world just to drill it in with his left foot, Wrexham 2-0 up and with uh, two minutes left surely they can keep this lead.